So let's touch on this Naira because it's well in that band, well, slightly above 160.23 or so. Uh, and we know that uh, the central bank has been looking very closely at intervening in the local currency if required. Hello? Emmanuel, can you hear me? No, can you please repeat that again? Okay, so if we look at the Naira, it's, it's in the band of between 150 and 160, slightly above, but we know that the central bank is ready to intervene if required. I don't think the central bank will be intervening at the interbank market now because the market is still within the band of um, 155 plus 3, and market has been stable in the last um, couple of weeks, especially at the commencement of this year. Um, WDAS auction sales on the 4th of January stop rate was at 156.70 mm -hmm. and um, as at 2nd of February, the WDAS stopped at 156.71. So you could see that market has been very, very stable and um, we are very, very sure that because of the convergence of market, of the market segments, the power market and um, the interbank market, um, there won't be any need to intervene because there do not seem to be any speculative attack on the currency. Yeah. Well, let's also touch on the interbank market, uh, given the fact that you've mentioned it. We are also just looking at those interbank lending rates, uh, sitting at an average of around 13.5%. Of course, those were the numbers that we saw last week. Do you think that the central bank is going to extend guarantees uh, to interbank borrowing? Is that a likely scenario? No, there's no need for interbank extension. Uh, we call last year at the towards the consolidation exercise September 30th deadline given to banks to consolidate and then um, the consequent intervention of AMCON and um, the CBN in nationalizing three banks. These banks so far are very, very liquid in the market and um, it was due to the uncertainty in the market as at then that made the Apex Bank to pronounce nationalization. As it is today, we are very confident that these banks have the full fit of the federal government and they are placing in the market. So market is quite comfortable at this level yeah. of interbank market trading and we strongly believe there is no need for a mm. guarantee extension because the government has successfully scored a very good point by consolidating on its banking reforms exercise. Uh, I mean, just looking at where the rates were at the beginning of the week, around 12.25%. And as you mentioned, now that we've got uh, a little bit more clarity when it comes to budgetary uh, allocations, it's starting to assist with uh, liquidity going forward. Are we looking at interbank lending rates below the 12% level, would you say, going forward? Can you please take that again? With regards to the budgetary allocations, it seems that that was one of the reasons that we actually saw a bit of a liquidity squeeze. And this is why we also saw that interbank lending rate hitting 13.5%. We started the week off at around 12.25%. What kind of lending rates are you expecting going forward? No, um, we do not expect the interbank lending rates to go forward since the market is expecting the budgetary allocation, which is fact by probably by next week. Um, market got a little bit tightened because of three consecutive open market operation sales to market, which we call OMO. Um, about 196 billion was um, taken out of market due to the central bank liquidity squeeze. That prompted markets to tighten up to the present levels it was trading. Um, but consequent upon that, we feel like that with the fact that market is expecting fact allocation by next week, market will subside on its present yeah. um, interest rate, rate regime. Uh, Emmanuel, also looking at the auction treasury bills, we know that uh, we're looking at an auction of almost 150 billion naira next week. Is this going to further exert pressure on liquidity? Well, um, about um, 170 billion will be maturing next week in treasury bills. And um, what government is just only doing is just to um, reassess the market and take out exactly what is maturing. What is maturing. So by and large, there will be a credit to market because market is not mopping up exactly about 160 or 170 billion that's maturing 
um, in the markets. Uh, also, just going forward, I mean, this is, uh, you know, the week is basically almost over. What kind of activity are you expecting in the interbank market next week? And also, let's just touch on the Naira uh, in terms of how we can actually see performance going forward and also into the next week. Well, going forward next week, um, the NTB auction is going to impact on markets in the sense that um, the outcome of the yields will reflect on on the run issues in the market, both um, the fixed income segment of the market. We're talking about bonds and treasury bills. Um, depending on what the yields come out, market will take a mirror on that to reprice its assets. Um, consequent upon this Mark, um, OMO auctions last week, we saw yields trading between 16.1 on those OMO auctions. But market was bemused on Friday when the Apex Bank um, stop rate on a 251-day maturity came out at about 17.52. That prompted a reaction from market. And as we speak today, um, there was an offer of over $50 billion to the market. And um, we understand the Apex Bank refused to sell because um, speculation has entered into market. We understand the range of bids traded between 17.2 to 20 percent. I don't think any reasonable government will want to keep on borrowing at these yeah. levels. Thank you.